There are several classifications of astronauts. The commander is the captain of the ship, who gives orders and makes decisions affecting the crew and mission. His or her understudy is the pilot, who has attained the same level of training. Both pilot and commander must have completed at least 1,000 hours of flight time in command of a jet aircraft. This is typically attained through military service. Mission specialists are usually scientists or engineers who bring expertise in experiments or procedures to a space flight. There are several classifications of astronauts. The commander is the captain of the ship, who gives orders and makes decisions affecting the crew and mission. His or her understudy is the pilot, who has attained the same level of training. Both pilot and commander must have completed at least 1,000 hours of flight time in command of a jet aircraft. This is typically attained through military service. Mission specialists are usually scientists or engineers who bring expertise in experiments or procedures to a space flight. Photography is quite simply the process of capturing light with a camera to create an image. This was done for the first time in 1826. The photo isn't all that impressive. However, as the oldest surviving photograph, it is nonetheless an important part of photography. As simple as this image is, it demonstrates the technical process of photography perfectly. To process the image captured, photographer used a process of his invention called heliography. It required bitumen to be dissolved in lavender oil. The resulting substance was coated onto a lithograph. Once dry, an engraving was placed on the lithograph and then exposed to sunlight. After setting, the lavender oil was washed off along with any unhardened bitumen. The remaining areas on the surface of the lithograph were washed with acid to create the final image. There were many other photography achievements along the way. Photography is quite simply the process of capturing light with a camera to create an image. This was done for the first time in 1826. The photo isn't all that impressive. However, as the oldest surviving photograph, it is nonetheless an important part of photography. As simple as this image is, it demonstrates the technical process of photography perfectly. To process the image captured, photographer used a process of his invention called heliography. It required bitumen to be dissolved in lavender oil. The resulting substance was coated onto a lithograph. Once dry, an engraving was placed on the lithograph and then exposed to sunlight. After setting, the lavender oil was washed off along with any unhardened bitumen. The remaining areas on the surface of the lithograph were washed with acid to create the final image. There were many other photography achievements along the way. Time can be considered to be the fourth dimension of reality, used to describe events in three-dimensional space. It is not something we can see, touch, or taste, but we can measure its passage. One explanation is that the natural world follows the laws of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that within a closed system, the entropy of the system remains constant or increases. If the universe is considered to be a closed system, its entropy can never decrease. In other words, the universe cannot return to exactly the same state in which it was at an earlier point. Time cannot move backward. Time can be considered to be the fourth dimension of reality, used to describe events in three-dimensional space. It is not something we can see, touch, or taste, but we can measure its passage. One explanation is that the natural world follows the laws of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that within a closed system, the entropy of the system remains constant or increases. If the universe is considered to be a closed system, its entropy can never decrease. In other words, the universe cannot return to exactly the same state in which it was at an earlier point. Time cannot move backward. The business objective is what makes the business go on and conduct its activities in the long run. It is the reason why the business exists. While most of the people argue that profit making is the core objective of every business, few have come up with a new underlying objective. According to the traditional concept, business exists only to earn profits by providing the goods and services to the customers. 
According to the modern concept, the underlying objective of every business is customer satisfaction as this is what results in most profits. If the customer is satisfied, business excels. The business objective is what makes the business go on and conduct its activities in the long run. It is the reason why the business exists. While most of the people argue that profit making is the core objective of every business, few have come up with a new underlying objective. According to the traditional concept, business exists only to earn profits by providing the goods and services to the customers. According to the modern concept, the underlying objective of every business is customer satisfaction as this is what results in most profits. If the customer is satisfied, business excels. A public building used for the confinement of people convicted of serious crimes. Prison is a place used for confinement of convicted criminals. Aside from the death penalty, a sentence to prison is the harshest punishment imposed on criminals in the United States. On the federal level, imprisonment or incarceration is managed by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, a federal agency within the Department of Justice. State prisons are supervised by a state agency such as a Department of Corrections. Confinement in prison, also known as a penitentiary or correctional facility, is the punishment that courts most commonly impose for serious crimes, such as felonies. For lesser crimes, courts usually impose short-term incarceration in a jail, detention center, or similar facility. A public building used for the confinement of people convicted of serious crimes. Prison is a place used for confinement of convicted criminals. Aside from the death penalty, a sentence to prison is the harshest punishment imposed on criminals in the United States. On the federal level, imprisonment or incarceration is managed by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, a federal agency within the Department of Justice. State prisons are supervised by a state agency such as a Department of Corrections. Confinement in prison, also known as a penitentiary or correctional facility, is the punishment that courts most commonly impose for serious crimes such as felonies. For lesser crimes, courts usually impose short-term incarceration in a jail, detention center, or similar facility. News from a local area is often important to advise people in a locality about activities that may have an impact on a community. This can allow a community to engage in decision-making processes in a community. For example if a local community reports on a dangerous road or accident hotspot reporting these can be later used as evidence to lobby for funding to fix a problem. Often countries have a broad extent of distance and in some cases differing time zones. Having a national news focus can allow people to gain a sense of national perspective. This is particularly significant for countries that have a diverse range of population centers such as cities or towns. For example large cities many thousands of kilometers apart may still rely on each other for trade or resources of economic significance. So knowing the situations in other cities and towns becomes important. News from a local area is often important to advise people in a locality about activities that may have an impact on a community. This can allow a community to engage in decision-making processes in a community. For example if a local community reports on a dangerous road or accident hotspot reporting these can be later used as evidence to lobby for funding to fix a problem. Often countries have a broad extent of distance and in some cases differing time zones. Having a national news focus can allow people to gain a sense of national perspective. This is particularly significant for countries that have a diverse range of population centers such as cities or towns. For example large cities many thousands of kilometers apart may still rely on each other for trade or resources of economic significance. So knowing the situations in other cities and towns becomes important. It's the 21st century and junk food has gone global. For better or for worse, junk food is now available all over the world. We see it most everywhere we go, in grocery and convenience stores, fast food restaurants, on television, usually looking very appealing. 
Junk food generally refers to foods that contribute lots of calories but little nutritional value. Of course, what's considered junk food depends on whom you ask. Some might say pizza is junk food, for example. But I personally don't think so, since it contributes real food with nutrients, like cheese and tomato sauce. Add whole wheat or part whole wheat crust, plus veggies as a topping, and I had say pizza completely exits the junk food category. It's the 21st century and junk food has gone global. For better or for worse, junk food is now available all over the world. We see it most everywhere we go, in grocery and convenience stores, fast food restaurants, on television, usually looking very appealing. Junk food generally refers to foods that contribute lots of calories but little nutritional value. Of course, what's considered junk food depends on whom you ask. Some might say pizza is junk food, for example. But I personally don't think so, since it contributes real food with nutrients, like cheese and tomato sauce. Add whole wheat or part whole wheat crust, plus veggies as a topping, and I had say pizza completely exits the junk food category. To be fit and healthy you need to be physically active. Regular physical activity can help protect you from serious diseases such as obesity, heart disease, cancer, mental illness, diabetes and arthritis. Riding your bicycle regularly is one of the best ways to reduce your risk of health problems associated with a sedentary lifestyle. Cycling is a healthy, low-impact exercise that can be enjoyed by people of all ages, from young children to older adults. It is also fun, cheap and good for the environment. Riding to work or the shops is one of the most time-efficient ways to combine regular exercise with your everyday routine. An estimated 1 billion people ride bicycles every day, for transport, recreation and sport. To be fit and healthy you need to be physically active. Regular physical activity can help protect you from serious diseases such as obesity, heart disease, cancer, mental illness, diabetes and arthritis. Riding your bicycle regularly is one of the best ways to reduce your risk of health problems associated with a sedentary lifestyle. Cycling is a healthy, low-impact exercise that can be enjoyed by people of all ages, from young children to older adults. It is also fun, cheap and good for the environment. Riding to work or the shops is one of the most time-efficient ways to combine regular exercise with your everyday routine. An estimated 1 billion people ride bicycles every day, for transport, recreation and sport. Ever wondered where your smartphone came from? You purchased it from a shop, sure, but the shopkeeper purchased it from his distributor, the distributor purchased it from the manufacturer. And, the manufacturer produced a final product, your smartphone, from the raw materials available to him. Thus, the manufacturer is the origin of your smartphone. An industry is a group of organizations involved in manufacturing or handling the same type of product and service. So, a group of smartphone manufacturers is known as an industry. Industries are part of the secondary activity. Secondary activities or manufacturing converts raw material into products of more value to people. Ever wondered where your smartphone came from? You purchased it from a shop, sure. But the shopkeeper purchased it from his distributor, the distributor purchased it from the manufacturer. And, the manufacturer produced a final product, your smartphone, from the raw materials available to him. Thus, the manufacturer is the origin of your smartphone. An industry is a group of organizations involved in manufacturing or handling the same type of product and service. So, a group of smartphone manufacturers is known as an industry. Industries are part of the secondary activity. Secondary activities or manufacturing converts raw material into products of more value to people. Many routers have built-in security features such as firewalls which help protect devices connected to the router against malicious data, such as computer viruses. Wireless adapters are hardware devices installed inside computers that enable wireless connectivity. If a computer does not have a wireless adapter, 
it will not be able to connect to a router in order to access the Internet. Some computers have wireless adapters built directly into the motherboard while it is also possible to install standalone wireless adapters to add wireless capability to a computer that did not come with an adapter built in. A wireless repeater is a wireless networking device that is used to extend the range of a router. A repeater receives wireless signals and then re-emits them with increased strength. By placing a repeater between a router and the computer connected to the router, signal strength can be boosted resulting in faster connection speeds. Many routers have built-in security features such as firewalls which help protect devices connected to the router against malicious data, such as computer viruses. Wireless adapters are hardware devices installed inside computers that enable wireless connectivity. If a computer does not have a wireless adapter, it will not be able to connect to a router in order to access the Internet. Some computers have wireless adapters built directly into the motherboard while it is also possible to install standalone wireless adapters to add wireless capability to a computer that did not come with an adapter built in. A wireless repeater is a wireless networking device that is used to extend the range of a router. A repeater receives wireless signals and then re-emits them with increased strength. By placing a repeater between a router and the computer connected to the router, signal strength can be boosted resulting in faster connection speeds. A diary is a place where you record events, experiences and other personal things that interest you. You can write about whatever you like, free of outside judgment or criticism. It should be an extension of your mind, safe and free. A diary can be whatever you decide and should be a place where you can be honest. Diary writing can be therapeutic, productive and creative. If you have ever wanted a place to vent, reflect and grow, a diary is that place. When talking to people, sometimes we feel as though we cannot be 100% honest. We worry about what people think, how they will react and feel. We worry about how people will perceive us after we share our thoughts and feelings with them. With a diary, you don't have to worry about anyone but yourself. Be as honest as you can possibly be. A diary is a place where you record events, experiences and other personal things that interest you. You can write about whatever you like, free of outside judgment or criticism. It should be an extension of your mind, safe and free. A diary can be whatever you decide and should be a place where you can be honest. Diary writing can be therapeutic, productive and creative. If you have ever wanted a place to vent, reflect and grow, a diary is that place. When talking to people. Sometimes we feel as though we cannot be 100% honest. We worry about what people think, how they will react and feel. We worry about how people will perceive us after we share our thoughts and feelings with them. With a diary, you don't have to worry about anyone but yourself. Be as honest as you can possibly be. The meaning of mementos symbolizes a precious or significant memory. They contain a lasting and heartfelt tribute. Urns for ashes can be created in uniquely personal and creative ways. The mother of a very close friend requested that her ashes be mixed in with sculpting clay. Her daughter then sculpted a beautiful vase from the clay that contains her mother's ashes. Other options include necklace urns, glass urns, and other keepsake urns. Be creative. Think of a poignant memory surrounding the scent from a bottle of perfume or the aroma from a loaf of bread your grandmother made. Hold the lock of hair from your baby's first haircut. Reminiscent of a past experience, these mementos may serve to keep alive the memory of someone we may have lost. By definition, a memento is an object or item that serves to remind one of a person or past event. Why is this so important to us? The meaning of mementos symbolizes a precious or significant memory. They contain a lasting and heartfelt tribute. Urns for ashes can be created in uniquely personal and creative ways. The mother of a very close friend requested that her ashes be mixed in with sculpting clay. Her daughter then sculpted a beautiful vase from the clay that contains her mother's ashes. Other options include necklace urns, glass urns, and other keepsake urns. Be creative. Think of a poignant memory surrounding the scent from a bottle of perfume or the aroma from a loaf of bread your grandmother made. Hold the lock of hair from your baby's first haircut. Reminiscent of a past experience, 
These mementos may serve to keep alive the memory of someone we may have lost. By definition, a memento is an object or item that serves to remind one of a person or past event. Why is this so important to us? The plumber also installs the gas lines in the home because the materials and tools needed are similar to those traditionally used for plumbing. Gas supply lines can be black iron or flexible stainless steel or flexible copper pipe. Gas is distributed through the home by a single pipeline that has other pipes branching from it, or by a manifold, which is a pipe with several outlets for supplying multiple pipes. The plumbing system also includes the water heater. The most common types of water heaters are gas, electric, oil or propane. If you have a gas water heater, direct vented is most desirable. If that's not an option, the second choice is power vented. Direct vented and power assisted are terms that describe how gases generated by the water heater are released from your home, which is critical for you and your family's health. Direct and power vented gas hot water heaters are less susceptible to combustion gases flowing back into the home because they force combustion gases out of the house. The plumber also installs the gas lines in the home because the materials and tools needed are similar to those traditionally used for plumbing. Gas supply lines can be black iron or flexible stainless steel or flexible copper pipe. Gas is distributed through the home by a single pipeline that has other pipes branching from it, or by a manifold, which is a pipe with several outlets for supplying multiple pipes. The plumbing system also includes the water heater. The most common types of water heaters are gas, electric, oil or propane. If you have a gas water heater, direct vented is most desirable. If that's not an option, the second choice is power vented. Direct vented and power assisted are terms that describe how gases generated by the water heater are released from your home, which is critical for you and your family's health. Direct and power vented gas hot water heaters are less susceptible to combustion gases flowing back into the home because they force combustion gases out of the house. Project work is a series of activities that allows the students to study, do research and act by themselves using their abilities, interests, personal experience and aptitudes. The project work progresses under the guidance and monitoring of a teacher or other advisor. The teacher or advisor will give ideas about project work, advice about the topic, how to manage the data collection process and planning. All levels of students can do a project work. The students can work alone or with a group according to the project scope and difficulty. The project work might be small and easy or large and complicated. Project work is work which focuses on completing a task. Project work normally involves a lot of resources, time, people and materials, and learners practice a range of skills and language systems. Project work may provide many opportunities to meet a variety of learning aims but it requires strong classroom management skills. Learners need independence in planning and realizing the work but they also need the teacher to act as a driver in ensuring it is carried out in a way that meets learning aims. Project work is a series of activities that allows the students to study, do research and act by themselves using their abilities, interests, personal experience and aptitudes. The project work progresses under the guidance and monitoring of a teacher or other advisor. The teacher or advisor will give ideas about project work, advice about the topic, how to manage the data collection process and planning. All levels of students can do a project work. The students can work alone or with a group according to the project scope and difficulty. The project work might be small and easy or large and complicated. Project work is work which focuses on completing a task. Project work normally involves a lot of resources, time, people and materials and learners practice a range of skills and language systems. Project work may provide many opportunities to meet a variety of learning aims but it requires strong classroom management skills. Learners need independence in planning and realizing the work but they also need the teacher to act as a driver in ensuring it is carried out in a way that meets learning aims. Web design refers to the design of websites that are displayed on the Internet. It usually refers to the user experience aspects of website development rather than software development.
Web design used to be focused on designing websites for desktop browsers, however, since the mid-2010s, design for mobile and tablet browsers has become ever increasingly important. A web designer works on the appearance, layout, and, in some cases, content of a website. Appearance, for instance, relates to the colors, font, and images used. Layout refers to how information is structured and categorized. A good web design is easy to use, aesthetically pleasing, and suits the user group and brand of the website. Web design refers to the design of websites that are displayed on the Internet. It usually refers to the user experience aspects of website development rather than software development. Web design used to be focused on designing websites for desktop browsers, however, since the mid-2010s, design for mobile and tablet browsers has become ever increasingly important. A web designer works on the appearance, layout, and, in some cases, content of a website. Appearance, for instance, relates to the colors, font, and images used. Layout refers to how information is structured and categorized. A good web design is easy to use, aesthetically pleasing, and suits the user group and brand of the website. The vast majority of spiders are harmless and serve a critical purpose, controlling insect populations that could otherwise devastate crops. Without spiders to eat pests harmful to agriculture, it's thought that our food supply would be put at risk. Most species are carnivorous, either trapping flies and other insects in their webs, or hunting them down. They can't swallow their food as is, the spiders inject their prey with digestive fluids, then suck out the liquefied remains. Though not all spiders build webs, every species produces silk. They use the strong, flexible protein fiber for many different purposes, to climb, to tether themselves for safety in case of a fall, to create egg sacs, to wrap up prey, to make nests, and more. The vast majority of spiders are harmless and serve a critical purpose, controlling insect populations that could otherwise devastate crops. Without spiders to eat pests harmful to agriculture, it's thought that our food supply would be put at risk. Most species are carnivorous, either trapping flies and other insects in their webs, or hunting them down. They can't swallow their food as is, the spiders inject their prey with digestive fluids, then suck out the liquefied remains. Though not all spiders build webs, every species produces silk. They use the strong, flexible protein fiber for many different purposes to climb, to tether themselves for safety in case of a fall, to create egg sacs, to wrap up prey, to make nests, and more. A hearing aid is a small electronic device that you wear in or behind your ear. It makes some sound louder so that a person with hearing loss can listen, communicate, and participate more fully in daily activities. A hearing aid can help people hear more in both quiet and noisy situations. However, only about one out of five people who would benefit from a hearing aid actually uses one. A hearing aid has three basic parts, a microphone, amplifier, and speaker. The hearing aid receives sound through a microphone, which converts the sound waves to electrical signals and sends them to an amplifier. The amplifier increases the power of the signals and then sends them to the ear through a speaker. A hearing aid is a small electronic device that you wear in or behind your ear. It makes some sound louder so that a person with hearing loss can listen, communicate, and participate more fully in daily activities. A hearing aid can help people hear more in both quiet and noisy situations. However, only about one out of five people who would benefit from a hearing aid actually uses one. A hearing aid has three basic parts, a microphone, amplifier, and speaker. The hearing aid receives sound through a microphone, which converts the sound waves to electrical signals and sends them to an amplifier. The amplifier increases the power of the signals and then sends them to the ear through a speaker. At the end of all's useful life, wool can be returned to the soil, where it decomposes, releasing valuable nutrients into the ground. 
When a natural wool fiber is disposed of in soil, it takes a very short time to break down, whereas most synthetics are extremely slow to degrade. Wool is a hygroscopic fiber. As the humidity of the surrounding air rises and falls, the fiber absorbs and releases water vapor. Heat is generated and retained during the absorption phase, which makes wool a natural insulator. Used in the home, wool insulation helps to reduce energy costs and prevents the loss of energy to the external environment, thus reducing carbon emissions. At the end of wool's useful life, wool can be returned to the soil, where it decomposes, releasing valuable nutrients into the ground. When a natural wool fiber is disposed of in soil, it takes a very short time to break down, whereas most synthetics are extremely slow to degrade. Wool is a hygroscopic fiber. As the humidity of the surrounding air rises and falls, the fiber absorbs and releases water vapor. Heat is generated and retained during the absorption phase, which makes wool a natural insulator. Used in the home, wool insulation helps to reduce energy costs and prevents the loss of energy to the external environment, thus reducing carbon emissions. A celebrity is a person who has a prominent profile and commands some degree of public fascination and influence in day-to-day -day media. The term is often synonymous with wealth, implied with great popular appeal, prominence in a particular field, and is easily recognized by the general public. Various careers within the fields of sports and entertainment are commonly associated with celebrity status. These fields have produced prominent figures within these two industries. While people may gain celebrity status as a result of a successful career in a particular field, in other cases, people become celebrities due to media attention for their extravagant lifestyle or wealth, for their connection to a famous person, or even for their misdeeds. Celebrities may be known around the world, within a specific country, or within a region. A celebrity is a person who has a prominent profile and commands some degree of public fascination and influence in day-to-day -day media. The term is often synonymous with wealth, implied with great popular appeal, prominence in a particular field, and is easily recognized by the general public. Various careers within the fields of sports and entertainment are commonly associated with celebrity status. These fields have produced prominent figures within these two industries. While people may gain celebrity status as a result of a successful career in a particular field, in other cases, people become celebrities due to media attention for their extravagant lifestyle or wealth, for their connection to a famous person, or even for their misdeeds. Celebrities may be known around the world, within a specific country, or within a region. Choice refers to the ability of a consumer or producer to decide which good, service or resource to purchase or provide from a range of possible options. Being free to choose is regarded as a fundamental indicator of economic well-being and development. Choice is our ability to make decisions when presented with two or more options. The psychology of choice explores why we subconsciously make the decisions we do, what motivates those decisions, and what need these decisions are meant to satisfy. I don't know about you. But I get stressed when someone asks me what I want for lunch. Food delivery apps give us hundreds of restaurants willing to bring our meals right to our door. Entertainment apps give us thousands of movie titles to choose from on a Friday night. We live in an unprecedented age of options. And that can make choice difficult. Choice is the purest expression of free will, the freedom to choose allows us to shape our lives exactly how we wish. Choice refers to the ability of a consumer or producer to decide which good, service or resource to purchase or provide from a range of possible options. Being free to choose is regarded as a fundamental indicator of economic well-being and development. Choice is our ability to make decisions when presented with two or more options. The psychology of choice explores why we subconsciously make the decisions we do, what motivates those decisions, and what need these decisions are meant to satisfy. I don't know about you. But I get stressed when someone asks me what I want for lunch. Food delivery apps give us hundreds of restaurants willing to bring our meals right to our door. Entertainment apps give us thousands of movie titles to choose from on a Friday night. 
We live in an unprecedented age of options. And that can make choice difficult. Choice is the purest expression of free will, the freedom to choose allows us to shape our lives exactly how we wish.